we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CI4, which is carbon tetraiodide or tetraiodomethane. Carbon and iodine are both non-metals. That means this is going to be a molecular compound that forms by sharing electrons. You're going to have covalent bonds bonding the carbon to each of the iodines. Now let's see how many electrons we're dealing with. Carbon is in group 14, so it brings four valence electrons. Iodine is in group 17. That's going to bring seven valence electrons, and there are four of them. So that's four times seven, or 28 electrons, just from iodine, plus the four from carbon makes 32 electrons total. Now I'm going to put my carbon in the center because it can make more bonds than an iodine can. And I'm going to put my four iodines in a circle around it. I'm going to single bond my carbon to each of those iodines, one, two, three, four. And that's eight electrons that I've already dealt with. Now, of course, I need 32. And I don't have complete octets on the outer atoms yet, so I'm going to fill the outer atoms as octets and count up to 32. Let's see if it fills all the iodines. Again, we already have 8 written here. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh, there is my 32 electrons, and I've completed the octet on all of the iodines. In addition, this carbon also has a complete octet of eight electrons. This is my complete Lewis structure for carbon tetraiodide. There's no more to it. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.